What's up guys? Welcome to the artclasses.com. This is a QA session episode 6. In this session we are going to discuss about uh, the free software that you can download for digital painting and also how to transition from traditional medium into a digital medium. And again, if you want to win the free tablet, become a subscriber and post a comment down below. Uh, we still uh, waiting for the giving away the tablet in May and I'm going to announce um, the winner at uh, at the end of May so May 2006 and again uh, the black and white artwork is the manga or comics that inspired me when I was younger um, this one is Kenjiro or Fist of the North Star um, it was illustrated by Hara Tetsuo um, I was really into it back in the day. Um, you guys can search it on Google and you guys probably be able to read it. Anyways, um, let's get started. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the QA session again from theartclasses.com. Um, anyways, let's get started here. So, author Sims, uh, what are the best free illustration software download for artists using Windows and I like your rendering of Colossus keep it coming so uh, the best free video I mean the, the, the best free software probably GIMP GIMP is one of the best it's kinda similar to Photoshop and I use them occasionally once in a while I used to play with it a lot more but I haven't downloaded them in a while and but I'm I, I like Photoshop more because that's what I used to do for my work so and GIMP I think if you want the program for free those are that one is probably the best uh, but uh, Pen is also cool they I don't I'm not sure how cheap they are they're probably not that cheap um, Sketchbook Pro is also good and then Manga Studio they are the price are very uh, pretty fair so but uh, if you want a free program is game yeah sketchbook pro is always good I use that one too is um, the price is really good so if you want to download that and try it out it's uh, it's really nice so anyways um, second one Angelo Ketoy sir how do you paint the values is it different colors or you adjust the opacity of each on each values <laughs> so I say for you if you confuse about the value and color, uh, color and value are related. They're not different um, because uh, so value go from white to black and in between that gray. Color go to saturate to desaturate or desaturate to saturation. And within the saturation, the different in values also apparent because the more saturated color, the darker the value is. So. And when you mix them all together, it's, it creates some kind of complex relationship, which is really interesting. And sometimes when you put saturated color on top of desaturated color of the complementary color, the gray becomes the opposite color or the complementary color. So apart from that, what I'm just going to recommend to you before you get into this complex world, just make 10 different percentage of grayscale like from 10% uh, light gray, 20% whatever, just match it from those grayscale from Photoshop and put it on your, your palette, uh, like a JPEG file or something. And pick those values from there and use 100% to paint those grayscale. Just kind of like you make your color palette on your real painting. Then start from there and use like maybe 80% or 100% of passive to paint. Then just start painting with grayscale. Forget the color for now. Then a couple months later, if you practice every day, then start applying color and start off from monochromatic. Then go on from monochromatic, maybe add a little more color and go from there. So just start it simple um, and then try to improve every single time and try to look at more tutorial on my channel like see what, what you can do and what you can. And these are one of the things that if you're going to try to do this thing on your own, it might be difficult. So. Um, you might want to take some class in college or something, or if you really want to get good at it, or you can uh, depends. You know, some class bad, some class are bad. Um, so just just keep going on your own for a while. You can't figure it out, then 
try to go find some, some class to take or something. Oh, you can come take my class. Um, great video. I love your work. Wait. As someone that just recently started your painting, I have got a question. You, you have any tip or trick on transitioning to digital for someone with the background in traditional media? Brush and pencil. That depends on how good you are at the traditional media. Uh, it's basically the same thing. If you know how to like, okay, let's just say for instance, every time you start a painting or illustration, if you are doing thumbnail or if you're doing comps, that means you know what you're doing. But if you don't, then that means you're gonna have to start from zero again. So usually I'll start like doing thumbnail or comps um, for the digital painting, and I'll usually like three value and start making the comp and see what they look like. You can just searching my you know YouTube video for most of my speed painting are basically comps, kind of composition or um, they are thumbnail. So just start with basic and maybe you make 10 to 20 comps and then pick a few of them and expand them to make an underpainting or finish illustration. Or um, start off with doing a study, you know, um, do study of a master painting or study of whoever the artist that you like. So if you want to transition from, then you, you're going to have to get used to the tool first, basically. And once you get used to the tool, then you can just go around and um, try to make your own stuff. But in the beginning, it's probably be a good idea to start studying from the master and then uh, you can branch off and go do stuff on your own. But basically, um, whatever you know or whatever you don't know, uh, what I would recommend is just spend at least an hour or two every day on the digital painting, just scribbling away, uh, and then you know what do you then you start to know what you do, and then you start to know where you are, where you want to go. Um, don't just don't be lazy or neglect. Like okay, I'm just gonna do half an hour today. It's gotta be an hour or two. Um, dedicate to it. If you like it, you will dedicate to it. Um, Anyways, I think we're going to end this session over here because we ran out of questions. Alright guys, uh, thanks for all the support and comments and everything. Um, if you are interested, you can take my class or download pre premium tutorial on the top right, left corner. Um, or just, uh, if you have any questions about the class or premium tutorial or whatever, just feel free to comment down below or email me. Uh, I'm sure some of those guys who already have downloaded will tell you how good or how bad they are. Uh, anyways, alright guys, thank you for your support and I'll talk to you later. Have a good day or night or afternoon wherever you are. Bye bye.